That is Michael Jackson in the midst of his first tour in three years. And Inside Edition was invited along by the King of Pop for an exclusive look. Here's our special correspondent, Les Trent. Thailand, a country where ancient Asian rituals and traditions help maintain a tranquil, peaceful environment. But then, Michael Jackson comes to town. <laughs> While the world got surprising news that the King of Pop was looking forward to having a son with his friend of 15 years, Deborah Rowe, he was causing a stir in Bangkok, Thailand, while traveling on his Michael Jackson, the King of Pop's History World Tour. In Bangkok, the world's media was kept at bay behind barricades. But besides his own cameras, Michael invited only Inside Edition to be by his side. If you ever wonder what it's like to be in the middle of Michael Madden, take a look at this. When Michael arrived at the airport in Bangkok, it was the 19th stop of his tour, and he had a message for the media. And there was quite a circus waiting for Michael at the hotel. Children dressed in traditional Thai costumes, as well as an elephant, were on hand to greet the King of Pop. And of course, when you're Michael Jackson, you never travel alone. He's always in a motorcade to close off traffic for him. And luckily for us today, here in Bangkok, Thailand, we're part of that motorcade. First stop for Michael was a local orphanage. Michael donated $100,000 to the orphanage, and before he left, as his song Heal the World played, Michael handed out stuffed animals. They don't know him as a pop star. They know him as a very nice man who came today to offer him hope. On every stop of the tour, Michael goes shopping for CDs. So Tower Records in Bangkok was closed, and as the fans and the press stayed outside, Inside Edition was allowed to go on a private shopping spree with Michael. And boy, does Michael Jackson have a crack of taste in music. He picked out dozens of CDs, anything from Jimi Hendrix to Roger Whittaker. Before he left, Michael had bought bags and bags packed with CDs. It's now day two for Michael in Bangkok. And once again, Inside Edition was in his private motorcade on his way to visit a school for blind children. Meanwhile, Inside Edition was given a full access backstage pass. For the first time ever, the King of Pop allowed us to film how his show is put together and capture Michael's private moments before he hits the stage. It's a look at Michael Jackson, the artist, that the world has never seen before. That's Inside Edition for today. I'm Deborah Norville. Thank you for watching. We'll see you right here next time. The biggest road show in the world. 350 tons of equipment, 200 crew members, and seven stages. And now our exclusive backstage pass will show you what Michael does just before he rocks Bangkok. The young couple's strength coming up on Inside Edition. It was the battle of the baddest that brought us at Ross. I'm Les Trent. Coming up on Inside Edition from Bangkok, Thailand, exclusive backstage coverage of Michael Jackson's World History Tour that you won't see anyplace else.
That's Michael Jackson on stage in his current King of Pop History World Tour. Our special correspondent, Les Trent, went to Bangkok for an exclusive backstage look at what Michael says is his most ambitious concert ever. Michael Jackson has been moonwalking around the world on his Michael Jackson, the King of Pop's History World Tour, and he's been mobbed at every stop. And when Jackson hit Bangkok, Thailand, the 19th stop of his tour, he invited Inside Edition to tag along. Do you ever get used to, the, to that many people? Every time you walk out of the hotel, it's, uh, it's incredible. As part of his personal motorcade, we joined the King of Pop as he handed out toys to needy children. And we also went shopping with Michael at the local Tower Records. While Michael was busy seeing Bangkok, his road crew was hard at work assembling the massive History World Tour stage. This way, guys. We were given access backstage to see how Michael's show is put together. The vision originally came from Michael. It was his desire to produce a theatrical show. Not just another pop show, not just another rock show, but a theatrical show. The men and machinery needed to pull off this World History Tour is simply breathtaking. 350 tons of equipment, more than 200 employees working around the clock, and this massive stage can be constructed in a mere three days. Give us three days and we'll make history in that town. Anthony Giordano is the tour's stage manager. It's his job to make sure everything is ready and it's showtime. We have 33 trucks of equipment, which is awesome. Okay, and when we come into town, you know it. The equipment is being transported on three Russian AM-124 freight planes, the largest cargo carriers in the world. If this tour doesn't get by with one stage, they have seven of them. With the tour coming to a new city every few days, they'd never be ready on time if they only had one. In addition to the 140 traveling crew members, about 100 locals are also hired to help put the stage together and take it apart. In fact, before Michael even finishes performing, the set is already being packed up, ready to move on. After the show is done, we can get out of here in five hours. Empty trucks, gone, didn't even know we were here. It was raining during a lot of Michael's visit to Bangkok, and he admitted he was feeling a little under the weather. I feel like a bit of laryngitis from the concerts. So the day of the show, Michael stayed in his hotel. Meanwhile, backstage, we spent time with Michael's fellow performers. What is it like working with Michael Jackson? Amazing. Amazing. Professional, you know, perfectionist. Yeah. Work hard. Got to work hard. Michael doesn't do the same thing every night. He does things to make me do things different, and I do things to make him do things different. We're about 45 minutes away from showtime. What are some of the last-minute concerns you have going into a show? My, my main concern is Michael's tunnel, Michael's special stuff, his dressing room, everything is prepared for him. It's now minutes before showtime. You ready to go on? Let me out But Michael is stuck in traffic. Finally, he arrives. It was then that we caught a first ever look into Michael's private backstage moments as he prepared to go on stage. Right before each concert, Michael forms a prayer circle with his bandmates. We have our, our moment of prayer and think about our families and friends at home, the people that we're about to perform for. And uh, we give thanks for the opportunity. And then we get one big old puff out and we hit it. After the prayer, Michael discusses last minute details with his band. Then he is driven within feet of the stage entrance, and it's showtime. A day of rest obviously paid off for Jackson, because laryngitis didn't seem to affect his voice. And as Jackson performs hits spanning his entire career, it is clear he hasn't lost any of his power as a performer. It was one night in Bangkok that close to 40,000 fans in attendance will never forget.